Hello, here is Moon, and this is part two for the Abus Pfaffenheim locks with symmetrical keys. In the first one, I looked at this one, the wavy line, which has um, dimples on the key, just like the other two, the wavy line pro and integral, but those dimples are passive. If you're interested, go look another video. Um, the integral with even more dimples I will look in the next one and this time I will be looking at the Waveline Pro. Four dimples on the side, so beside the main um, pin tumbler uh, stack there are four kind of special ones and the way they work is we have those side pins that are placed in the um, in between the main pins and those key pins kind of have two angled cuts one the kind of rounded one aligns with the curvature of the plug and another one down there it goes to the ball bearing that is pressed into the core well being held by the pressed bar and the way it works is that when the ball bearing, which is there, the shiny one or four of them, when it's pressed this way, it interacts with the angled cut and the pin goes this direction then. So to show it a little, that's how it works. So yeah, the difference is in the active side pins. And now let's have a look. How much difference does it make to picking? All right, tensioner, the pick. Now let's see. Okay, where is the speed bump? Here it is, something in the middle. back one two three four five six so now everything is jiggling let's check the side pins and for that I just turn the pick insert it and jiggle it around in the keyway and see that I set some of the side pins and let's see did it work. Now number three is binding. One. And they didn't before, so it seems to have worked. Oops. No point over setting them. One is good. Two is good. Three, four. Small click there. Six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh no, it wasn't six, it was five, and here is six. All right, let's try the side pins again. Click on two, three, four is springy. Click on the last one, the rear one, six. Now that is four and it's open. So yeah, you see there are some additional steps in the Waveline Pro, but Overall, it's still fairly easy because, well, maybe the tolerances, maybe whatever it is. So let's just now have a look at what's inside this one. Let me think which way to 
turn it. Um, that will be this way. And come on. Oh, yeah, right. Doesn't work with the with the clip. That needs to be removed first. Now we should be able to remove the core. All right. Let's have a look. That was ball bearing. That goes in here. And here is the top stack and the secondary stack. All right, let's get the pick to get the pins out. And secondary ones. One, two, four. Come on, get out. All right, here is the plug, all the chambers, no milling, no nothing special, except for this very nice ball bearing activation, the hole for the another ball bearing, the keyway. And now let's align them just a little. and get out the drivers. Interestingly, the drivers are from aluminum, at least some of them. That is brass spool. That is... Yeah, the secondary driver, another aluminum main driver. Another one. Okay, what do we have here? One more brass spool. One more secondary driver with, of course, um, angled side and the last driver is a steel kind of a T-pin so that was just an example but the pinning is pretty much the same here is the core that we just took out and let me dump all those springs There are four small ones that go to secondary pins. And the big ones that align with the main drivers. I will not put them all there, but you see the point. So lots and lots of pins. And let me now get the close up of all of it. So just to not to distract, here are the pins from the one I picked. Two spools, two T-pins, tapered drivers, so one of them is wrong way around. 
um, and the fancy secondary pins with some kind of serrations to um, be able to distinguish between different lengths, I guess. And that's pretty much it for the Abus Pfaffenhain Wavyline Pro. Thank you for watching and go look the third one, the Abus Integral. Thank you. Bye.